As I said at the end of the previous video, in this video we are going to work on the relationship between different tables. Specifically, we are going to talk about joins in this video. But before I do that, in order to save your time, I have prepared a database. Let's quickly take a look at that. I'm going to say sqlite3students.db, that's the name of my database. And if I say .tables, we can see the list of these tables. I have created these three tables, a table for loans, a table for students, and a table for tuition. Let's quickly take a look at these tables. First of all, I'm going to say dot headers on. After that, I'm going to change the mode to columns. And now let's say select a star from students. As you can see, I have three students in my table, which they have an ID, a name, and also an email. Let's do the same for tuition and loan. As you can see in my tuition table, I have three columns, an ID for the tuition itself, a student ID, and also I have an amount column as well. We will take a look at the scheme of each one of these tables in a minute. Notice that in my tuition table, I have only two records. For the third student, I don't have any tuition. Let's query the loan table as well. Once again, in my loan table, I have an ID column for the loan itself. I have a student ID column. And also I have an amount column for the amount of the loan. Let's quickly take a look at the scheme of these three tables. I'm going to say dot schema. And as you can see here is the scheme of these three tables. The only thing worth noticing in here is this loan table. The only thing worth noticing in here is this loan table for its amount column. I have set this default constraint in which if we don't provide any value for the amount, it's going to be zero. Nothing spectacular in here, just creating three simple tables. In here, I'm going to execute a query in which we'll return the name of the students from the first table, from the students table, and also it will return the amount of the students tuition from the tuition table. For that, I need to create a link between the tuition and also the student table, because in the tuition table, we don't have any student name. I'm going to get the student name from the first table, and the tuition amount from the second table. For creating a link, I'm going to create a join between these two tables. But before I create that join, I'm going to show you another SQLite command. I believe it will be helpful along the way. So far, if we wanted to retrieve some column, we could have simply say, select name, for example, from students, and it would just return the name from a student's table. But if I want to change the name of this column in my result set, I can simply say as and I can provide my new name. For example, in here I can say student name. If I execute this query, sorry, there seems to be something wrong. Uh, I need to put this as a student name after the column name. Let's execute our query once again. In here, I'm going to say select name as a student name from a student's table. This time you can see that the name of our column has been changed to a student name. Okay, now let's create our join between two different tables. And here is how we can do that. It's going to be a query, so I can simply say select. After that, I need to provide the name of my columns, but in here I'm going to be more specific. I'm going to also provide the name of my table. It's not necessary, but it's a good practice for avoiding conflicts between the similar names of different tables. I suggest you always provide the name of your table when you are creating a join. So in here, I can say students.name, the name of my column, a comma. Next, I need tuition.amount. Let's also change the name of this column to, let's say, as tuition amount. Once again, it's not necessary, it's just for renaming our column name. After that, I'm going to say from a student's table. But as you know, this amount is not in the student's table. Now I need to create my join. I can say inner join or simply join. There is no difference between these two. Let's say inner join. I'm going to join tuition table on tuition.student ID where it's equal to students.id. 
At first glance, this curious statement in here might seem a little bit cryptic, but basically what we are doing in here is that we are using the common column between these two tables, tuition and student, in order to join these two tables together. And also in here we are using this inner join. There are other kinds of joins, we will see them in a minute. Now let's execute our query and see what would be the result. As you can see the result set is containing the name of the student and also the tuition amount. Let's quickly review this SQL statement. First of all we need the select statement because basically it's a query. After that we are providing the name of the columns from each table. Also in here we have changed the name of this amount to tuition amount. After that we are selecting them from the first table. We need to provide the first table name in here. We are using the inner joins, so we need to provide inner join. Once again, there is no difference between inner join and join. Basically, joins by default are inner joins in SQLite. We are joining the tuition table, the second table, on the common columns. It's important in here to provide the second table's column first, and the order in here does matter. I'm keep using second table and first table's columns, but if you want to rename them, the first table's uh, common column is called primary key and the second table's common column is called foreign key. So in here this tuition.studentid is our foreign key and this students.id is our primary key. Just for practicing let's also join the students table with the loans table and show different students loans. For that I can simply say select students.name Let's also show the student's email. I can say students.email. After that, I'm going to say loan.amount. Let's say as. Let's name this column loan amount. From our first table, which is going to be students, let's make the join. Let's say inner join. Loan table on loan.studentid is equal to students.id. You can see that we are receiving the name, email, and loan amount of every student. Okay, this is how you can join two tables together, but what if you want to join three or more tables together? For example, in this case, what if we want to receive the name, the tuition amount, and also the loan amount from all of the three tables? For that, we can expand our join statement in here. Let's quickly do that. Basically, the first part is going to be like this one in here. First of all, we need to join the students table and tuition table. The result set would be something like this. And then we are joining this result set with our loan table. For that, we can say select students.name. After that, let's say tuition.amount as tuition amount. Let's also get loan.amount as loan amount. We need to provide the first table's name, let's say from student. I'm going to continue the code in the next line, so if I don't provide any semicolon in here and I press enter, SQLite is giving me another chance to complete my statement. So I can continue it from here. Let's say inner join tuition on tuition.studentid is equal to students.id. I'm going to continue in the next line, so I'm not going to provide any semicolon. After that, let's say inner join loan on loan.studentid is equal to tuition.studentid. Let's execute our statement and let's see if it's going to work. As you can see, it's working perfectly. We are receiving the name of the students, the tuition amount, and also the loan amount. We are receiving only two results, two records, and that's because in our tuition table, we didn't have any tuition for Brad. And that's the property of this inner join. So basically what this inner join is doing is that it's using the commonality between the tables that we are joining together. So if for some reason we don't have any tuition for some student in our tuition table, it's not going to be in our result set. The inner join is going to work only on the commonality between the tables that we are going to join together. In SQL, we have other kind of joins as well. For example, we have left outer join, 
we have right outer joint and also we have full outer joint in esculite specifically we don't have all of them we just have left outer joint basically what left outer joint is going to do is that it's going to take all of the results from the first table and the results from the second table that have an equivalent in our first table based on the common column i think it's better that i show you a diagram this is what a left joint or a left outer joint looks like don't worry about the word outer basically these are the same left and left outer joint are the same so in a left joint we are getting all of the results from the first table and also all of the results from the right table that have some equivalent in our first table based on the common column i hope that i made it clear okay let's go back to our sqlite environment and let's try a left outer joint i'm going to create this specific table on my students table and also the tuition table so that we could see all of the students regardless of if they have tuition or not for that i can say select students.name tuition.amount let's say as tuition amount from students basically it's all the same as inner joint we are just going to change this inner joint to left outer joint or left joint let's say left joint tuition on tuition.student id is equal to students.id let's try our sql statement as you can see for brad we don't have any tuition but we are seeing it in here sometimes left outer joint might be useful but in most cases you are probably going to need inner joint that's the most common joint that is being used in sqlite there is also another kind of joint in sqlite and that's called cross joint so basically what cross joint is going to do is that it's going to link every record in your first table with every record in your second table in some cases you might need that but it's not very common let's quickly see that it's very simple and we don't need a common column for this kind of joints we can simply say select the name of our columns which is going to be students.name and tuition.amount from students let's say cross join after that tuition as simple as that as you can see every record in our first table has been linked to every record in our second table in some cases you might need this but honestly i couldn't think of any case but the only thing that worth noticing in here is that if your first table has three records and your second table has two records the result set of this cross join is going to have three times two records which is going to be six records in this case okay that's our talk about different joins in sqlite we will be talking about firing keys when we learned about triggers later on in the course but for now i think that's enough in the next video we are going to take a look at sub queries and also if we had time we will also look at some of the functions available in sqlite see you in the next video